The number one seed Notre Dame Fighting Irish arrived at the Greensboro Coliseum on Championship Sunday looking for their first ever ACC women's basketball title. Okay, oh, great. Let's do it. Their opponent, the second seeded Duke Blue Devils, entered the game in search of their ninth title in the last 15 years. The matchup was the third of the season for the two teams, with the undefeated Irish winning both by double figures. Notre Dame entered the finals well-rested after having won their semifinal game with NC State by 35 points, while the Blue Devils expended a lot of energy in their down-to-the-wire battle with North Carolina less than 24 hours earlier. Their endurance was sure to be tested by a veteran Notre Dame team. Ladies, look at me. If you can't have venom for this game, there is absolutely something wrong with you. This is our house, our game, 40 minutes. Let's go. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go Black. Right here, Duke, together at three. One, two, three, together. Let's go, Notre Dame. ACC championship, let's get it done. Let's go, Irish. Let's go, Notre Dame. Duke didn't seem too weary as they jumped out to the early lead behind the low post play of Elizabeth Williams. Basket for Williams, she has four, and the Irish down four to two. Notre Dame, though, would answer behind the sharp shooting of Kayla McBride. She's three for three. Three for three in just about the same spot. The two teams battled back and forth early. Then Duke senior Haley Peters went on her own six-point run, putting Duke up by six. Muffet McGraw might be thinking about a timeout here shortly. Peters with six straight points. Notre Dame fought back as Jewel Lloyd sank the long jumper from the top of the key, giving the Irish the lead back. But as the clock wound down to the half, Duke's Kalia Johnson drove the lane and laid it in. And the two teams headed to the locker room all tied up. And after 20 minutes, we have decided nothing. It's 28-28. Let's go, Duke! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! The second half was a much different story as Duke's players started to feel the effects of the long week and Notre Dame took advantage. Game MVP Jewel Lloyd knocked down a few shots and then Lindsey Allen threw the laser to Lloyd on the break for the layup. My, my, what a highlight. The Julie Oop. And before Duke could blink, Notre Dame had gone on a 16-2 run to break open a once tight ball game. Kayla McBride put the final icing on the championship cake with two of her 25 points. And when the final horn sounded, Notre Dame had pulled away for the 69-53 victory and their first ever ACC Women's Basketball Championship. It's a credit to our senior leadership. Uh, they, they have this team ready every single day at practice. Uh, they're mentally tough. They have a competitive spirit. Uh, they just came in every day willing to work hard, ready to do whatever it takes. It, it would have been easy, I think, to watch a little game film and pat ourselves on the back and talk about how good we are. But we watched film, critiqued ourselves, and, and asked ourselves, how good can we be? And that was a, a real credit to our senior class. I think that our preparation is key. I think that we're ready for every game, whether um, it's knowing the scout, um, being mentally prepared in practice. You know, coach isn't going to let us have those mental breaks. And um, I think I credit our mental toughness that she brings us. I think that we know what we have to do for every game and how we're going to win, and, and we focus on that game. We don't try to look ahead. We don't look at anything like that. We focus on each possession um, and, and each 40 minutes of each game.